So the two worlds collide. As you know, Prime Faces 10 has recently been released with a lot of new features and a major makeover. And I thought it would be interesting to integrate Prime View to a Prime Face application so that you can get the features from a client side approach and use that in a server side driven approach. So I'll be doing a tutorial where I'll be using a Prime View data table to display uh, a data from a RESTful API and select that data from a data table row and send it to the Prime Faces backend and display it using a Prime Face component. So are you excited? Let's get started. So I have a basic JSF application and now I'm going to add Prime View to it. Uh, if you watch the Prime View with CDN video, I'm going to repeat the same things actually. First, I will add Prime View CSS. These are, I'm, I'll be using the Sega Blue theme. Uh, the Prime View Core and the Prime Icons. And then I'll be using View plus uh, a couple of Prime View components like the data table, button, and page native, and of course the utils. Now there's a website called uh, it's a dummy website. Where you can get some uh, JSON placeholder data. I'll be using that. Of course, so this is a JSF page, and we'll be adding uh, the Prime View table to this page. First, I'll be needing my Prime View app. And then I'll, I'll just, of course, uh, the ideal section to add the scripts could be somewhere else but for for the sake of simplicity i'll be using uh, the, the page itself so i'm not using an external page so i'm i'll be getting this app and mount my app to this one So this is my app. I just imported uh, the create app ref and on, on mount that I'll be using. And this is my app. Uh, at the setup function, I'll be using the composition API here. At the setup function, first, uh, I'll be listing the users. So I just need a reference on the users. And then uh, I'll be needing the function to fetch those users. Remember the URL? Sorry. And this is my function to load these users. And at unmounted, I'll be just calling get users. And let's just return the users. And finally, at my component section, I will use the data table and the columns. and the, the column. So that's it for my application. Now add the UI to this one. Of course, um, P data uh, table with the value is users, right? And let's add a couple of columns. We had uh, the name, the 
the header is name and there's p column. Uh, let me just duplicate those with the username, email. Of course, you can do this dynamically with a p for loop as well. And username. Okay, now let's see. Um, let me run this application. Now, uh, the error is something I expected because the GSF is trying to parse um, the table. Uh, sorry, the page, but it's getting an exception. And by the way, my error actually was uh, this should be P column, right? I got my head to front faces. Now we are using front view, these are custom elements. So I converted those to be from front faces to front. Okay. okay. And I'm getting a, a you know, blank page because I haven't mounted this. You know. Create app, app, mount, app. Okay. Now I get the data table on a JSF page, but this is a prime view table. Now let's try to add sortable. So because the prime face data table doesn't support sorting on the client side, it supports it on the server side, but prime view can do it on the, on the client side as well. So remember that it was sortable or just sortable. And I should get an exception somehow when I try to use a certain syntax. Uh, I'll be showing that as well, uh, especially with the, with the events. And because some of the view syntax, the, the facelift template partial doesn't like. Let's try this one as well. Just sortable. Okay. Attribute name sortable. So these these are kind of stuff that you can use with regular uh, Prime View with the regular CDN and HTML. But I try to use bindings, and especially I try to use rebinds as much as I can when using Prime View on a JSF page. Or in a regular you know, HTML page without a build process, without UCLI and white. And now the, the, the JSF, um, the, the facelet, facelet doesn't like this. So there's a trick, you know, it doesn't like this V binding stuff. The trick is uh, I'm going to define them as pass through attributes. So, you know, these guys. Uh, the V on, the V point, and the V slot are now uh, available as pass through components so that GSF doesn't, you know, uh, give an error about this. Because I'll also be using um, V on for event binding and the V slot as well. So, so far, so good. I have a, you know, a data table. Now let's add a button here. And now here the integration starts. We're going to get this data from JSON REST API and send it to JSF. With the P column, nothing here. Uh, template, V slot. Um, the name of the slot is body. And I'm going to pass 
data to it. And now let's add a button because we have defined it, right? No, we haven't. It's a prime new button. Now with the button is it's an icon with the V on. Remember that if you haven't um, add these pass through stuff, you will get that error with the P button. Of course, uh, I have my button here. The button is described, defined here. And what's that show detail? This is where we are going to get this and pass it to our backing view. Now, that would be test view. And let's say the test view is going to. Uh, let's add display user and we are going to get a user JSON uh, let me just uh, add the remote command that's where we take that's the key ingredient of the integration okay now let's add a remote command here can put it inside the form, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is pgrow. Show detail, true. And a remote command. This is, I'm going to get the uh, data and pass it to uh, the JSON backing mean, then I'll display if I'm using the basic message. Let's, get, let's call it remote call RC an update toast and action listener is test views show user right okay uh, sorry display user display user so with the display user now I need to call this from my show detail so let's call the show detail gets the data and it just calls it using the RC remote command. User and I'm going to convert it to JSON. So the show detail gets the data and calls the uh, remote command, the JSON remote command and passes the parameter as the user. Now we were going to get it at the display user. Uh, string user JSON is basis context get turn instance get external context and forget dot user so get request parameter map get user and I'm going to convert it to an object and finally uh, add message New faces message and summary is uh, its severity info and user selected and the detail is uh, user that get string was it the name okay now let's see if it works I'm getting the JSON data and passing it to the JSF yeah, remote command. Test view, some compilation errors, so add message. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Okay, now this is my table. 
I'm clicking it and nothing happens. Let's track this down. Okay, the problem is that the show detail is not function because I haven't uh, configured that and exported that. So I need to give that to the view template. Yes, it works. Now, when I click on this, let's see what sorting and works as well. Chelsea. Okay, it works. So let me go what we have done. Uh, I have used uh, to prime you with a CDN. So that's the trick uh, when you're going to. That's that's something I like about you. That it says you can use it on a regular web page with CDN. Uh, no build process, no real CLI, no white, and that's what allows integration with JSS. So, we for details about this, see my other video where I integrated Prime with CDN. So we have the Prime um, CSS here, and then we have um, the Prime View stuff plus the View script. I have defined these View syntax like V on, V bind, and V slot. As JSF pass through, where I, you know, namespace, so that JSF doesn't throw an exception. So we have a div, uh, it's the view application, and I'm using the prime uh, view data table here, where I get the users and just the sortable table. And on the data sources, a RESTful API, it's at mount, on mounted, we are calling the get users, get users actually go and fetch. Um, this data from a JSON placeholder, the sample dummy data, and then populate the users so that we display it. That's not the, you know, not the most interesting part. The most interesting part is where we have a remote command and we grow. These are the JSF components and these are the prime view components. So the remote command uh, calls the display user action listener and updates the toast. The display user is actually called by the view uh, prime view button it gets the user from the view slot and calls it the show detail show detail gets the data calls the rc which is the main integration point this is where you get the data json data and send it to a jsf backing bean and at the backing bean we just get it from the request parameter map and then convert it to json object and then this is where we have that object. So that's it. Um, I think uh, I really see a lot of use cases about this. Usually you uh, integrate, you add prime view to your prime face application. It's not the other way. It's not, it won't be very common to add prime faces to your view application, but it's the, it, it would be common because you can get all the benefits from uh, the client side programming, client side approach and still uh, use your you know jsf and java backend so hope you like this video and um, hope that you use uh, this technique in somewhere in your, in your application in your jsf application and see you on the next video thank you